Hi, I'm Trinity Johnson, a freshman from Westside High School. <laughs> and this is my poem, I Love This Country, But It Doesn't Love Me. When I look at old photos of me and my sister, the first thing I notice is how much darker I am than her. But skin tone meant nothing to us back then. All I knew is that mommy's family spoke a different language than daddy's, and that was cool. They were secret superheroes, masked in green chili, dressed in dirt piles, so papillas like throwing stars, yet. Yeah. All superheroes have a villain, and theirs is a person whose pigment is their power. But to them, they're the good, and we're the bad. A role switched at a costume change of a color, we get ignored. White men dog call us because we don't even get the luxury of the cat. Bite marks bring you into womanhood. Yet, somehow, we're painted as the attackers. News stories like, a legal immigrant brutally kills white girl makes push for the wall more prevalent. Not talking about the colorless men that kidnap Mexican girls. The portray of the white picket fence family next to the brown skinned school girls make them look like the bad guys. These are the same stories, just different skin colors. So why does Maria get less justice than Molly? Why was there no national news stories when shots were fired in a New Mexico school? It shouldn't matter, brown still bleeds red. Why do brown girls feel the need to cover up your skin, but spray tans are a trend? Speaking Spanish is a poison-tipped arrow shot at society standards of a true American. That's why my mom doesn't know it. Raised in a time where sounding Caucasian on the phone was a superpower. People wonder what I am. My skin can be two colors, and that's why when I was nine years old, I was told to go back to my country by a white girl, the same white girl I sit next to in Spanish class, who insists she's not racist, that she loves tacos, her gardener's brown. We do not choose our place in this world, rather put there by inequality, unfair social standards, and how dark your skin is next to the color, cream beige, I am Hispanic and white. A mixture not plastered on every street corner, not an option in those questionnaires. But they expect a world where the colors don't collide. You try to apologize. But sorry means nothing when you still stereotype. It's 2019. Racism should be the villain, not me. Someday I want to be a superhero who doesn't have to fight oppression. But how boring would that be? How normal would that seem? Me amo este payas, pero no me ama.